How did an anti-Semitic blood harvesting QAnon conspiracy theory get mixed up in the UK's vaccination program? I'm Alice McCool, a journalist with The Citizens, and stick with me as I talk you through an investigation we did into the weird and wonderful world of anti-vaxxers. As 12 to 15 year olds are offered the COVID vaccine in the UK, the anti-vax groups that we've been investigating are gearing up to respond with increasingly extreme actions. On a mission to save the children, a campaign slogan from QAnon, we've seen fake consent forms and advice sent to schools, physical protests and storming of schools, cartoon leaflets aimed at kids and spreading disinformation, and increasingly militant language used online, as well as discussing how to fake kids' COVID tests. Anti-vax ideologies vary, from those who believe more out there theories such as QAnon or David Icke's lizard people, to those who follow former Pfizer scientist Michael Yeadon, who appears more respectable while spreading disinformation. But is disinfo impacting children? Most of the teens we spoke to had seen pro and anti-vax content online. A recent study of 28,000 school children in the UK found that 37% were undecided about getting the vaccine, while nearly 13% would opt out entirely, with more hesitant students being more likely to come from deprived contexts and spend more time on social media. The truth is, conspiracy theories are often only able to take root because real government wrongdoing has eroded public trust. Mistrust of the government and multinational companies, plus pandemic fatigue, plus disinformation, puts adults and children at risk of going down conspiracy theories rabbit holes. But honestly, hesitant or not, most of the teens we spoke to said this isn't even a topic they talk about with their friends. They don't want to be saved, they just want to get on with being teenagers. 